ISC is a don't miss conference for the global HPC community and attendance gets larger every year. I understand that it topped 3,000 this year. It's a great occasion for checking out what the HPC community is doing to help advance science, engineering, big data analytics, and key technologies. In this video, we're going to see highlights of the ISC 16 conference in Frankfurt. One of the biggest attractions each year is the grand unveiling of the June edition of the Top 500 list of the world's most powerful supercomputers. That list is very important for tracking major trends affecting powerful supercomputers over time and for also for determining who's ahead in the global exascale race. Also new this year is the integration of the Top 500 list with the Green 500 list of the world's most energy efficient supercomputers. With energy prices worldwide averaging a million dollars a megawatt, everyone is trying to save energy while also getting their work done. One of the most important trends at ISC this year was the convergence of big compute and big data. High performance data analysis is the name that IDC gives to data intensive computing that needs HPC resources for modeling and simulation, for analytics or a combination of both. Uh, it's an exciting trend that affects many established HPC sites. Uh, it's also causing large commercial firms to adopt HPC for the first time to tackle uh, daunting analytics challenges that are just too tough for enterprise IT technology to handle alone. Just about every HPC domain will be affected by this trend, and it's going to play a crucial role in the evolution of driverless vehicles, cognitive computing and artificial intelligence, and the Internet of Things. AI is the new electricity, and just like electricity transformed many segments of industry hundreds of years ago, AI today is transforming healthcare, medicine, transportation, and other areas. And so um, a lot of the progress in AI is driven by scalability. And what we're seeing is that the bleeding edge of AI has migrated to HPC technology. And for AI to keep making progress, I think HPC will play a bigger and bigger role. As far as vice versa, what could HPC learn from AI? I think. Uh, the most important thing is here's a new application domain that's really having an impact on a lot of different domains and it's closely related to HPC so I think HPC people if they can learn a little bit more about machine learning they'll understand how the things they know can really change the world. Uh, I think a lot of synergies have to do with platforms so hardware and software platforms for HPC also happen to be very useful for AI. You know I've read about um, HPC work for so long and read about the legends of the HPC community from afar. I've been here only for a few hours but it's really exciting to get to meet some of these people in person and, and shake their hands. So uh, I definitely hope that will come more to HPC venues in the future. One of ISC's greatest benefits is bringing together in one place a very diverse cross-section of the global HPC community. People from many countries and regions of the world, users, vendors, government officials, HPC leaders, and students who are just starting out. ISC has activities to promote the achievements of women and to help nurture the next generation of the HPC community. In recent years, ISC organizers have ramped up activities that showcase the achievements of industrial HPC users and help attract more private firms to adopt HPC. A new addition to the ISC industry track this year was Industry 4.0, a German and global trend to apply advanced IT technologies to manufacturing, especially machine learning. The goal is to create the smart factories of the future, places where human workers will rely much more on their brains than their brawn. Another annual ISC highlight is the Vendor Showdown, where vendors present their latest products, strategies, and research, and are then subjected to a barrage of probing questions by HPC experts. Last but not least, ISC is an event for socializing, for reconnecting with old friends, meeting new acquaintances, for a whole host of reasons. 
learning what others are up to, making connections for sales, jobs, research, or just catching up on personal news. ISC provides a variety of settings for this. 2016 was another successful year for ISC, but it doesn't end there. Most of us look forward to returning again in 2017. Next year's ISC will offer a wide range of opportunities to learn about new developments in HPC systems and applications, along with emerging trends in virtual reality, cloud computing, deep learning, and industrial supercomputing. The chair of next year's conference will be Jack Dungara, who knows a thing or two about HPC technologies in the HPC community.